Hi everybody, it's Justin Walgar here and uh, giving you a short video uh, review on a board that I bought recently, a PIC programmer by Velleman. Velleman. It's the K8048 and for those of you interested in electronics, you might be interested in using this board to uh, program uh, PIC uh, integrated circuits. Now this board you can pick up quite cheaply from most electronics uh, outlets such as Maplins and uh, you can also get it on, uh, you can also get it online at a number of uh, online uh, stores. Now what I'm going to do is take you through this uh, kit that I uh, that I made up and uh, just to show you it's um, it's quite a good quality kit and it comes with all the components uh, and you, all you simply do is solder it onto the board. It took me about uh, an hour or two to solder everything up and, uh, and you, all you do is you connect it up uh, to a uh, computer, preferably a Windows uh, XP. I, I, I think it works on Vista as well, although uh, XP seems to work quite well for me. The um, there's just a number of issues with it if you're thinking of buying this particular kit. The main problem with it, although it's quite cheap as far as PIC programmers go, the uh, the main problem is really the, uh, the the interfacing port here, and it uses an RS232, which is uh, quite an old-fashioned uh, way of uh, connecting uh, to uh, a computer, um, and unfortunately. If you use an RS-232 USB adapter, you'll find that it won't work, and it actually says this on the instructions. So, um, you need quite an old uh, laptop, um, or a desktop. Uh, I had to dig out the one from my shed and fire it up again to get this thing to work. Uh, it wouldn't work on my current uh, desk desktop, um, because it uses all USBs. So, it's something uh, to remember if you're thinking of getting one of these um, uh, boards. Just to take you through all the various various parts, so look at the corner here. We have the the power jack. Um, you have a an LED here, which let me try and zoom in on, which basically tells you uh, not to remove uh, the chip, uh, usually when it's been programmed. Uh, there's a reset button there. Uh, that's the RS232 uh, port for interfacing with the computer. You have a, a toggle switch there for uh, showing you um, uh, whether the board is running or, or in program mode and the useful thing is it's got um, several different size um, integrated circuit holders um, so it will take an 8, a 4, an 18 and a 28 pin uh, PIC uh, integrated circuit. Now the whole point of this board is that um, once you built it all up it comes with um, some software which you originally I think it usually came with a disc but uh, on this particular kit that I got you have to download the software from Velleman and it's it's all free and uh, the software that uh, you use to get it uh, running and also for programming uh, comes with an example which is quite useful because then you can see um, whether it works or not uh, and I'll quickly demonstrate uh, that in a minute um, the the side of the um, board contains a few LEDs and some switches and these are really just to demonstrate um, the output of the various chip that you program. just more of an experimental thing I guess but I suppose once you've programmed your pick to whatever uh, thing that you want you can use it for just about anything it just really depends on how good you are at programming so I'll quickly demonstrate the, the lights here So we, what we do is we switch the board to run, and you can see the, the the LED at the top indicates that we mustn't remove anything. If I press all these switches, you can see the pick goes through various uh, programs of the LED, different types of flashing mode depending on which switch is pressed. It looks quite quite pretty although it's really just for demonstration for experimenting and obviously if you program the pick you can do different things with the LEDs 
Um, so all in all, quite a cheap uh, way to get started if you're new to pick programming like I am. It's uh, quite a cheap way of doing it, but just beware that if you do choose this board, you may have problems interfacing it with a computer if you've got quite a modern um, uh, computer without a serial port. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Thanks for watching.